Hello, my name is Jay, and before the sun sets, I need to briefly talk about the calendars, the solstice, and numbers. Firstly, for those of you acknowledging and using the energies from the end of the Mercury retrograde, which is the 8th of January, the full moon on the 11th, and the new moon and Chinese New Year on the 28th of January, make good use from them if you are directed to this. Secondly, although most people use the current Western Gregorian calendar to communicate with various people, there are a number of individuals taking an interest in the other calendars in order to deciphering their meanings and additionally using the energies that resonate through these time structures. I refer to calendars such as the ancient Maya calendar, the Aztec sun calendar, the genetic disk from Colombia, the Babylonian calendar, the Egyptian calendar, the Trondholm sun chariot, the Hindu calendar, the Cherokee calendar, the Zuni calendar, the Hopi calendar, the Bulgarian calendar, the Chinese calendar, the Muslim calendar, the Bronze Age sky disc, the Phaestus disc, and the Jewish calendar. A, num a small number of these calendars interest me, so I will be on my own journey discovering why they hold my fascination. I must admit that on one level, I am synchronizing more with the seasonal changes and the solstice aspects in addition to utilizing the standard calendar. So instead of seeing an end of 2016 and a beginning of 2017, I am looking at the energies of the winter solstice at present and seeing how it aids me through this season and into the following season, this transitional period. Each winter solstice is different with changing energies. energies. Some man-made, some natural, some spiritual. Take the opportunity during winter solstice to connect within yourself and to the divine light. If you need the aid of one of the aforementioned calendars, then read up more on it. You may be surprised about which resonates more with you. Acknowledge your instincts. So with the new Gregorian calendar of 2017 commencing, I will read to you a message from an, from an angelic Reiki master teacher colleague of mine. January is a good month to have another look at our wish or intention list for the year and to continue to focus and energize it with our attention. As 2017 adds up to 10, the number 10, and therefore the number one, this is a year of new beginnings, a new, fresh, nine-year cycle, which has so much potential depending on the type of energy you invest into. Will it be the energy of regret and discontent? Or will you use this time to kickstart the dream you have had for years, but were too afraid to do so? There have also been reports of solar flares sending electromagnetic waves directly to Earth. What these are doing are recording our DNA to integrate more light within our physical bodies and to help more people to awaken. Since even before 2012, there have been new codes and waves of energy sent from our solar deity and angels through our connection with stars and from the galactic center which is a black hole or a black portal. To help us to reconnect to our souls and spirits, we are here to bring in the new age of love and enlightenment to all. What we do on earth affects this universe and, and new universes to come as they are all based on learning and experience. Ours and other sentient beings learning and experience in this and other dimensions. These waves will continue and their levels will rise as we become more accustomed 
to bearing this level of light whilst still in ego and living earthly lives. It is time and many of you have heard the call. There are more and more people waking up. So here is to focus, energy, resolve and commitment to creating our dreams in the smoothest and most graceful way. And my colleague has also made a small note saying, just for information, I found these dates on Emmanuel Dagger's website. And I will add a link to help you get to Emmanuel's website for more information. The message is so. This month, there are potent days for creation as the numbers one are abound. The 1st of January was just such a day. As is the 10th of January 2017, the 11th of January 2017, the 19th of January 2017, and the 28th of January 2017. The final day will be the Chinese New Year and will herald in the first new moon of 2017. All these numbers reduce to 1.1.1 or 11. Point one point one. However you read it, it's a sequence of the numbers one. So anyone wanting more information should go to the Emmanuel Daggers website. And of course I, I have uh, given a link uh, to help you. So in closing, if you need me, you know how to get in touch through this channel. So please keep safe, warm and well. Much love and light. Jay.